No matter what your organization does, change can be tricky. But change is part of our organizational life and our world is changing faster than ever. The astute leader must understand change and how to manage it. In this video series, we'll look at several techniques you can use to be more effective with change. Now last month, we talked about the importance of being realistic when approaching change so that you don't put people in a position where they can't succeed. This week, let's look at how to activate the reward response in the brain by setting and rewarding new goals. First, understand that your brain and everyone else's has a reward center and a threat center. We talked in previous videos that the amygdala is part of the threat response in the brain. Now the name of the brain part doesn't really matter. What is important is that you understand that there is a threat center in the brain. But there's also a reward center in the brain. The nucleus accumbens is part of the reward network. And again, no need to worry about the brain part. But it is important to know that the brain has a reward center. And as a leader, it is important for you to know how to activate it for yourself and for your employees. As we talked before, the brain is designed to expect consistency. The brain wants things to be as, they, as it has come to expect them. But during periods of change, there is likely to be much less consistency and much more change. Left unchecked, the brain of your staff are likely to feel threatened due to the uncertainty and the threat center is activated. Now on the other hand, while the brain reacts negatively to unmet expectations, it reacts positively to an exciting new goal. A compelling new goal gets people energized. It captures their imagination and links to their why, as Simon Sinek talks about in his book, Start With Why. A shiny new goal activates the reward response. That response is even more heightened when you have the staff participate in the goal setting process so that they feel some control. Control also trips the reward trigger. And link the goal to their why. Why do people care? How does it connect with what they value? The act of creating and setting a goal releases dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter. Setting the goals feels good and so does achieving the goal or a step toward that goal. Another opportunity to activate a reward response in the brain is to be acknowledged for completing each step along the way. Plus, that constant acknowledgement of progress grows confidence. A leader can help override old patterns by setting and rewarding goals consistently over time and activating that reward center and minimizing the threat center. Next month, we'll talk about how a leader can effectively manage change by providing choices. I'll see you then.